The question is, can I add tabs to a Google Doc? And I'm going to show you what you can do and how it works in this video. But before I do, hit that subscribe and notify button because I create all of this content for you. By default, there are tabs built into your Google document. You just don't see them. I can type a number 500, hit a tab, and type another 600, 700, 800. Each time I'm hitting a tab between it, and you one more 800. And there, so you have every five characters, you have a tab. Now, if you don't want your tabs that way, then you've got to adjust your tabs. Now, so how do I adjust my tabs? Well, it's really pretty easy. Let's say I want a tab in every 10 spaces. So I go up here and click and I say, add a left stop tab. And look, I just put one on the one. Then click on the two, add a left stop, three, a left stop, four. To keep doing this on every 10, do one more. Now I can do 100. Now you can see those tabs are only relevant to that text. Because if I click right here, you can see I have the tabs. When you click up here, the tabs go away, which it reverts back to the default tabs. Now let's say I want, you know, to come down here and I want these. Well, let me see something. If I highlight that text and, and copy the formatting and highlight this text, what's going to happen? Boom. You notice it put the tabs in there. It took the tabs from this paragraph and assigned it to this paragraph. And if you notice, it wrapped this text because it, it doubled up the space between them. But something else to look at. Let's say that my numbers are 10.5. And then let's go down here. Let's say the numbers are 1.5 and the numbers are 10.5. Let's go to 100.5. You see, it looks kind of screwy. It's, it's, it's tabbing based on the first character. Now, I want to put a, what's uh, in Microsoft Words referred to as a decimal tab. I don't have that on Google. If I right click, if I click here and say I can add left, I can add center, I can add right, but there's no decimal tab. So the only answer that I've come up with that works for that is to use a right tab stop and then make sure that you have the equal number of digits after the decimal. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I don't want to use the left tab stop for these, so I'll have to get rid of those. I think I click on those and drag them off. Look, click and drag it off. Each one, I'm going to click and drag off, click and drag off. I'm going to click and drag it off, and click on the last one and drag it off. Now what I need to do is I need to come up here at the one, click, and do a right tab stop. Go to two, and I need to do a right, hang on, I'm going to get there, right, let me get all set up here, right, and right, and I'm going to go to the six and do a right. And because I have equal number of characters after the decimal, 76.89, 65.89, 75.89, 765.00. So I'm using a right stop here. And I have an equal, oh, I got a mistake here. Put a zero, put a zero, zero, zero. Oh, one more, zero. So because I'm using a right tab stop and I have an equal number of characters at, on the right side of the decimal, they line up appropriately. And I can keep doing this. You know, five, six, seven, eight point oh oh. Again, I'm using a right stop tab, and I'm um, having an equal number of characters on the right side of the decimal, so that they line up appropriately. And again, if you don't like these, the, the, desk, the, 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 the location, you can click on it and drag it around. If you want to, click on it and drag it. And if I want to, I can also do it up here. If I don't want that there, I can click on it and drag down and remove it. If I want to put it back, click here and insert left tab spot and put it back. I'm Teddy. 
your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. And I hope these ideas are helpful for you.